happening, everybody? This is Lee Red Red with the Sophie World Games. Joined today by Leo. Palace of the Boy. I'm gonna get to this giveaway wheel, but I do have a couple things here that I wanna rip open before I get on to that. I was expecting the all natural, totally refreshing summer super drop secret layer to show up, but it didn't. So and a couple other things came into place, so I wasn't able to do the full stream that I wanted to do today. But I'm gonna open this stuff here real quick, let you guys know what's going on. We're gonna hit that wheel. Somebody's getting a foil earth copy of Urza Lord High Artificer. So let's get right into it. First, I need my trusty knife. Where'd it go? Here it is. Got my trusty knife, so we're gonna open this. I think first, just given that the whole video is for the Extra Life Foundation, it was, it is, not was, it goes all year round. It is a donation source to fund the Children's Miracle Hospital Network. And it's just a great, great, It's great. Anyways, right here, since I raised over a hundred dollars, I believe it was, they sent me a set of dice, as far as I'm aware. There's all kinds of milestones for people to aspire to when it comes to, but, I like to keep it simple. I donate hundred dollars out of my own pockets just to get this and let's check it out. It's a full set of polyhedral dice and it comes in a beautiful, beautiful blue case. Look at that. Let's check it out. And as far as I've heard, it's lit. So oh yeah. Oh, there goes the D20. And as opposed to being round edged, these are diamond cut dice. And the D20 has the Extra Life Foundation symbol on it. Thank you, Extra Life, for letting me participate in this fundraiser, this uh, giveaway. I mean, I sponsored myself, but thank you so much. And I hope that whatever I've been able to bring to the table will help the children in the Seattle Children's Hospital or Sacred Heart, Providence, whichever one that I actually contributed to. I can't remember the team I'm on. I'm on Team MTG, but I just want to help. That's all it is. So let's get into the next piece of mail. I missed my mail drop. I've been missing my mail drops. It's been a weird time. I've got to do what I can to get out of this office by the end of the month, so I'm just trying to, the one day at a time, guys. Here is a trick-or-treat bag from Card Kingdom, and they have this promotion, or they had the promotion going on on Halloween. I decided to throw $5 at the wall and say, hey, I'd like to get a trick-or-treat because I'm too old to get candy with my kids. Maybe the use of a knife of that size wasn't as warranted as it needed to be. But it's dystopian world. You guys are used to seeing some pretty bizarre shit, so excuse my language. We have some cards. And I'd like to get into it. And we're gonna see. What kind of, I've seen all kinds of stuff with these trick or treat packages from damage cards to rip cards to stickers, dice, or maybe it wasn't dice with tokens. What are you saying? And let's see what I got. We got Card Kingdom trick or treat. Share your treasures and see more treasures at Card Kingdom. So. Magnetic Mountain. 
I've never seen this card before in my life. But it's Arabian Knight. Which can only mean value. This is a short print run right at the beginning of Magic's life. Um, wow. Um, Felden's Cane. I've got one of these. These are like $10 cards. $5, $10 cards. That's insane. This is a $5 drop on Card Kingdom. You got Cold Doth the Forge Master. That's crazy. What the? Looks like it's all artifacts. I mean, except for the Magnetic Fountain. Mind Crank. Beautiful. Beautiful. And Ashnod's Altar. I always need these because I love playing black. And sacrificing your creatures for value. Some of the best value there is. <laughs> Y'all gonna laugh at this one because it's funny and damn, it's got a nasty binder ding on it. But I finally got one. I'm joking, I've had one of these because I couldn't afford Black Lotus. So I got myself a Blacker Lotus. Now Card Kingdom has seen it be fit to send me a second copy of a Blacker Lotus. That's beautiful. Happy Halloween. Happy holidays to everybody that don't believe in the... Yeah. Nice. Is that right? But... The whole reason we're here is to watch that wheel spin. Somebody's taking home a foil copy of Urza, Lord High Artificer from the Modern Horizons set. And I have got that right. Here. Don't be shy, Leo. Everybody give the card a round of applause because it is beautiful. And there it is. Somebody's I taking this home. the importance of damaged cards being home. Some of those cards are older than some of your viewers. This, like, this ain't damaged. This is oh, I'm saying, better. though, for damaged cards in oh, general, no. they're yeah. older than some of the people watching this right this, now. This, so, is, like, this is amazing. Look at that. Not, ah. not the broke back Marchessa. That was me. No, uh, yeah, I see the black or lotus. There's a little higher attention than I am. Because I don't see any pieces right there. So we gotta, we gotta turn this down a little bit. Oh, what? And what's going on here? I remember this. Magnetic Mountain. I've never seen that card before. I have. I fought against it, and it is uh, very, very mean when they get it. I didn't ever read it. It's a big ol' hose on blue. Is there anything I could use them on already? Um, actually, anything. Yes, anything. <laughs> definitely. You can make all their stuff blue, and then just keep it tapped forever. Oh. Yeah. See, sometimes I don't even know anything. <sighs> everything. Sometimes I don't know anything. So, Today I know that this wheel's about to spin. One of y'all is taking the card home. Yeah. So let's let this crack. We're gonna click the spin. Actually, let's randomize. If you get a black or lotus to play in your pod, by the way, get a proxy card to tear apart we're because gonna, we're gonna take the D20 dice. We're gonna roll that. Bam. And we're gonna randomize this list four times. Ooh, yes. So I'm, people don't think I'm being cheeky. That's the number four. We could, um, would you like me to actually bring the camera closer while you roll? Yeah. Okay. So we got shuffle one, shuffle two, shuffle three, shuffle four. Now, if my guy Leo here wins, it's going to make it a whole lot easier on me because I can't even afford shipping right now. And but you all are watching the prize process, so you know that it's random, by the way. This is, this is, yeah. The wheel names. So here we go. Click to spin. David... <clears throat> David, Luke, pause, Jordan, thank you guys so much for donating to this cause, man, because, I mean, it's for the kids. Mm -hmm. Bottom line, <clears throat> we ain't going to be here forever. They're going to pick our shit up. Let's let it roll. Yep. Boom. Ooh, look at the colors. That is not me. That is not me. I would like to say that is, uh, that yeah. first roll is Paws. Paws Brown. Yeah. And, yeah, exactly. that is the confetti and everything. Take it home. Big foil. There's a Lord High Artificer. What more can you hope for? Um, it, for, for Paws to send uh, Leo a copy because he's making shit? No, 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 don't do that. Don't do that. But so we you gonna, could. We need to close. Or for me, uh, let's close this. And I just once, once again want to say thank you, everybody. Extra I'm turning everything into a mox pause. Extra Life is a foundation that I 100% believe in because there's kids in the world that can't get the help they need because funding's short or they're in a situation where the money's just not accessible. 
So what we, when we work with the Extra Life Foundation, these kids can get a little boost to their budget, and they need all the help in the world, everybody. Yeah, yeah like, they're so short, man. They can't reach stuff yet. You know? Thank you guys for participating in that. It means a lot to me. It means a lot to just so yeah, in the world. Yeah, man. Okay. Right. So, pause. We're going to work on getting this to you. Just be patient. <laughs> and We'll uh, catch you all on the flip. Yes, we will. Um, I'm going to throw a cardboard at him until he explodes. He does that. Yeah. It's catch actually weird how he keeps saying that.